sad story. And more than a little melodramatic. Try me. Shooting a movie is everyone's dream, but what happens when that dream goes horribly wrong? No, you stay the course! If we stay the course, we are dead! We are all dead! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 production nightmares. For this list, we've picked movies that had epic onset problems. Quite the scandal. Ranging from personality clashes, studio interference and budget issues, to more serious troubles like injuries and even deaths. You guys are in so much trouble. <laughs> Number 10, Waterworld. What is it? I'm a busy man. Filming in water is notoriously difficult, so a post-apocalyptic sci-fi flick set entirely in water might have problems. What do you say, Toby? The truth. Looks like shit. Waterworld was plagued from day one. A hurricane wrecked the set, Kevin Costner almost died in a storm, jellyfish kept stinging one of the actresses, one stunt double was lost at sea when his jet ski ran out of gas, and another almost died filming underwater. <laughs> you should have stayed on the water. <laughs> Director Kevin Reynolds was either fired or quit before production was done, leaving Costner to finish Waterworld himself a whopping $75 million over its $100 million budget. Nothing's free in Waterworld! <laughs> and it bombed, big time. Oh, thank God. That the power of Christ compels you! The power of Christ compels you! Number nine, The Exorcist. The power of Christ compels you! Rumor has it this movie was cursed. Sure, the original set burned down, but director William Friedkin may have been the bigger nuisance. Please, make it stop! It's burning! It's burning! Do something, Dr. Please help her! He kept the set at frigid temperatures to create atmosphere and used unconventional techniques to get the performances he wanted. Damien! Amen. Ah, defender of the human race. He slapped one actor and shot a gun to startle another. How many parts did he? It's Ellen Burstyn suffered permanent damage to her coccyx after her harness was pulled too hard. And Jack McGowan died of the flu shortly after filming. Shall we summon the writer? He's in Paris, I believe. Hiding? <laughs> Say what you will about curses, this one seems true. It was an excellent day for an exorcism. You'd like that? Intensely. Number eight, Cleopatra. All hail Cleopatra, kindred of Horus and Ra, beloved of the moon and sun, daughter to Isis, and of Upper and Lower Egypt, queen. <laughs> At 20 times over its initial budget, Cleopatra was one of the most expensive films ever. Everything's to be paid for by coin. Tell the men to put away their swords and carry their money bags in hand. The first producer bailed at five mil over budget with nothing to show for it. Elizabeth Taylor required a life-saving tracheotomy during filming, delaying things further, and forcing a move from London to Rome, which meant all sets needed to be rebuilt. I will not be told where I can go and where I cannot go. She also started a torrid and public affair with co-star Richard Burton, which caused much unwanted publicity. Everything that I shall ever want to hold or look upon or have or be is here now with you. Cleopatra was finally finished after two and a half years, but it had no hope of earning back its exorbitant production costs. Finances! You make my head hurt when you talk of money. Now change the subject. Number seven, The Island of Dr. Moreau. Oh, you'll like it. I like it. After being served divorce papers on set, star Val Kilmer fought with everyone, leading to the dismissal of director Richard Stanley in favor of John Frankenheimer. Things didn't work out. They didn't get along much better. Then, actor Rob Morrow quit because of script rewrites. You were the only survivor. And true to form, Marlon Brando didn't feel like learning his lines, so he got them through an earpiece. Judge not, Mr. Douglas, that ye be not judged, for by these judgments shall ye also be judged. And let he who hath not sinned cast the first stone. 
but he was also dealing with personal issues after learning that his daughter had committed suicide. Not a great experience for anyone involved. This is the most outrageous spectacle I have ever witnessed. Number six, Fitzcarraldo. I want the Opera House. I want my Opera House! I want the Opera House! Screenwriter-director Werner Herzog had a particular vision for this film, and moving a 320-ton steamship wasn't going to stop him. We're gonna drag that ship over the mountain, and the bear asses are going to help us. How in hell are you going to do that? He forced his crew to manually haul the ship up a steep hill, leading to three injuries. That slope may look insignificant, but it's gonna be our destiny. The film's original star, Jason Robards, got sick halfway through filming. So Herzog hired Klaus Kinski, an actor with whom he had previously clashed violently during production of Aguirre, The Wrath of God. Ich bin der Zorn Gottes. Die Erde, über die ich gehe, sieht mich und bebt. Their second partnership fared no better, and an extra even offered to kill Kinski. Herzog reluctantly declined. This man is no opponent. He's as dead as a doornail. Number five, Jaws. This shark, swallow you whole. Shaking, tenderizing, down you go. And we gotta do it quick. I don't bring back the tourists, and will put all your businesses on a paying basis. Filming a movie without a finished script usually doesn't bode well for the rest of the production. You got any better suggestions? Spielberg wanted the script to diverge from Peter Benchley's novel, which led to multiple rewrites. I don't know, Chief. I don't know. He's very smart, very dumb. He also had trouble casting the film, as it was turned down by Hollywood heavyweights like Robert Duvall and John Voight. That's great! That's just great! Now where the hell are we, huh? On top of that, the crew couldn't get the shark to work. Robert Shaw disliked Richard Dreyfuss, and the shoot went 100 days over schedule and at least $5 million over budget. You're going to need a bigger boat. Titanic was called the ship of dreams. Number four, Titanic. And it was. It really was. James Cameron has a reputation for perfectionism. In fact, he was nicknamed the scariest man in Hollywood. After her long fall, from the world above. <laughs> you were so full of shit, boss. <laughs> so, it's no surprise that this shoot was no day at the beach. Make it count. Besides being grossly over budget, Cameron was tough on the crew as they moved around his Titanic replica in cold water temperatures, an issue he also had on the abyss. I know how alone you feel. Alone in all that cold blackness. Team morale got so bad, one crew member spiked a dinner with PCP, sending 50 to the hospital. And it's up she goes. Injuries and illnesses aside, Titanic made Cameron king of the world. <laughs> so, worth it. And I'm thankful for that, Rose. I'm thankful. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, Apocalypse Now. Man, this is better than Disneyland. Originally scheduled to shoot in five months, production wrapped after 16 grueling months that skyrocketed the film's budget. Horror. Horror. Making Apocalypse Now was an uphill battle in which Francis Ford Coppola dealt with unpredictable weather like hurricanes and typhoons that destroyed his set. This is the way the f***ing world ends. Look at this f***ing shit we're in, man. But his cast was no picnic either. He replaced Harvey Keitel with Martin Sheen, who later had a heart attack on set. Lost in a romance, of pain. Veteran actor Marlon Brando showed up overweight and underprepared, forcing Coppola to rewrite much of his dialogue and threaten suicide several times. Horror has a face. And you must make a friend of horror. Number two, The Crow. People once believed that when someone dies, a crow carries their soul to the land of the dead. Unlike the other productions on our list, 
filming for this movie went relatively smoothly until a fatal accident led to the death of star Brandon Lee. Take your shot, fun boy. You got me dead bang. Due to mishandling of the props and improper gun safety knowledge, Lee was shot in the stomach by a prop gun with basically the same force as a real bullet, was mortally wounded, and died hours later. Victims, aren't we all? The film was only a week away from wrapping at that point, so a CGI version of Lee was created to finish his scenes. But sometimes, something so bad happens that a terrible sadness is carried with it, and the soul can't rest. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Isn't there any way off of this place? Some way to escape? <laughs> no. Supply ship comes every six months. That's it? Mm -hmm. I came into this game for the action, the excitement. Go anywhere, travel light, get in, get out. Wherever there's trouble, a man alone. Now they got the whole country sectioned off. You can't make a move without a form. <laughs> Oh, he says it's nothing, sir. Merely a malfunction. Old data. Pay it no mind. Wendy, <coughs> let me explain something to you. Whenever you come in here and interrupt me, you're breaking my concentration. You're distracting me. And it will then take me time to get back to where I was. Number one. Scare me. Are you ready? Okay, go ahead. What are you doing? Twilight Zone, the movie. In one of the more horrific onset accidents to date, issues with the pyrotechnics used for special effects caused a real-life helicopter crash to occur during John Landis's Time Out segment. I can't believe it, you know? I can't. Yeah. Drink your beer. Relax. What do you mean, relax? And unfortunately, the crash was fatal for actor Vic Morrow as well as two illegally hired child extras. I don't know what's the matter with this country, but it's getting tougher and tougher to earn a living. For 10 years afterwards, the filmmakers were involved in civil and criminal cases connected to the tragedy. But ultimately, Landis and his team were found not guilty of manslaughter. Why don't you come over here? Cheer me up. I need it. Just drink your beer. Do you agree with our list? I didn't catch that last statement. Which set sounded like the biggest nightmare to you? This is the end, beautiful friend. For more unbelievable top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. I forgive you, my friend.